Welcome back to Dave's Garage. Today we're just looking at an accessory that I've put on my uh, Versys X300. Uh, this is a you know universal uh, Kirakin, I think I've got that pronounced right. Uh, semi or semi-rigid, semi-hard um, uh, saddlebags that I've put on my uh, on my Versys. And I'll show you along with um, another um, top case that I use is a, a GB. It's a B47, so it's a 47 liter. And it seems loud. It, se it seems like it would be very large, but um, you really don't even see it in your mirrors. And it, it holds a lot of stuff, you know, full helmet and um, jacket and everything else in there. With the uh, Kirakin, I think these are called Outriders. So they're semi-rigid. They, they hold their shape. Right now there's nothing in them. They're empty. And they're, they're over the saddle, over the seat. Um, very large patch of Velcro here that you, you squish together. That's just for starters. And it comes with a lot of straps. This pair is... Uh, yeah, the, the name of it is... Well, actually, it's got another name on here. Or it's a Kirakin, but it's... Apparently they're part of their logo, but um, comes with a pair of these saddlebags, and they do not get anywhere near the uh, the exhaust. A lot of this stuff um, you got you know hangs down low. Now these are not super large. Large, I think they're twenty. Oh my gosh, twenty six or something, and they they do expand. There's a zipper, and you can you can expand them out. Um, they get larger. The trick though is to keep them away from the exhaust out you know away from the tire and there's no way that these are ever going to interfere with the tire and how I know that is because I've got these things strapped so they really are very secure in their position the the secret is there's some um, long velcro straps here on top that come with them it just folds back on itself and if you hook them to these these plastic uh, D rings and and fold them back on themselves. You got one here and you got one here. So what that does is it prevents the top of these uh, saddlebags from ever drooping. It can't. It, it can't go. So you've got Velcro plus you've got this that really makes it rigid. And on the front, on both sides, it comes down here. I've just got it. Well, this is kind of dark. Let me go to the other side. Got to be able to see what we're talking about. I've just got it wrapped around here. It's another um, quick disconnect. And I, I leave these on the bike. And because there is some metal, there's some metal as part of the, um, you know, the, the, the quick releases and stuff here. I just put some Newton, some pool noodle on it. That's just to keep all the metal off of the, you know, nice pretty plastic right here. So that, that's a set of those. And then across the back, Again, I hook to these D-rings, and I go across, I go through a loop on the OEM back uh, top plate, crossed, and then I have it hook in to uh, one of the, the metal rings on the top plate. So this, I have one on each side, so this pulls the, um, the saddlebags rearward on both sides, and it's it's taut. It's very taut. These pull the saddlebags forward and down. These hold the saddlebags from drooping. And uh, next year I'll show you what's inside these saddlebags. On each side, you've got an outer pocket with some small um, elastic pockets for. Whatever you want, uh, maybe even your, you know, phones, something to write with, uh, small things, notepads or gloves, um, any kind of thing, sunglasses. You can do that if you. I don't have a tank bag, so this is it. The next thing are these quick release, and these are pretty slick, the way they've got them designed. These are quick release, and they just. Uh, I'm not going to be able to hold the camera and show you, but I'll, I'm, these just kind of slide into a loop. And they're real wide. These are these are metal. These are nice and strong. 
but I don't think I'm going to be able to get them off. Oop, yep, I got one. Come on, David, you can do this. All right, we got them. So these are just quick releases to um, get you into the main pocket. In the main pocket, you've got, this is like neoprene, like, like wetsuits, you know, so if you got something you want to put in here, maybe something larger like a um, iPad or small laptop or other devices. You got this screen here that, you know, it's nice to just keep things from falling out on the ground when you open it. And this is kind of, if it had some weight in it, it wouldn't be so, you know, so bouncy. But, um, so then, I don't know if I'm going to be able to find the other zipper. Where is it? Oh, here, is this it? Yes. This zipper goes all the way around. <laughs> like this and then it, it lets you come out here about another I don't know inch and a half two inches so if you're really looking for as much uh, you know many as, as much space as possible then you would unzip this on both sides as well the other side I think is just a mirror image but I, I like the looks they're, they're kind of tapered you know to, to the front on top here and um, they have all kinds of pockets in front. I didn't mention that either. So you can put water bottles here. Um, a lot of Velcroed, uh, ex you know, stuff you can put in here. Maps, maybe even your GPS if you want to get it off the dashboard. Or, again, more accessories. It, it, these come with more straps than I've used. Here's another one I just happened to pull out of the cabinet. I, I don't know what I'd use this one for. It's, it's a little bit longer. But again, it depends on your particular install application. So it, it just comes with, um, you know, just Velcro. It comes with a, a lot of the quick release hooks for the lowers, for around the back. Comes with a, another one that if you needed to use it even for some other purpose, I don't know. This here is, um, well, I'm just staring at it. This here is my GV B4, B47. 47 liter and I've installed the additional brake light kit in here so the these light up when you hit the brakes these are real bright these are all LED and of course my um, X11 has been converted over to all LED all the way around I've got you know video on my YouTube for that and I've just stuck some high-vis uh, stickers on here and just you know just for visibility I, I'm not as concerned about you know how cool does it look or how neat or how factory or you know I'm just interested in when I put this bike in front of a car on the road someone's following me or many cars are following me in, in traffic and stuff I just want somebody to look you know ahead and say wow what is all that mess you know what is that bright spots what are the what are the extra brake lights and the LED and I mean I want to I want to have some visibility out back because you're probably more likely to get you know hit or rear-ended from the rear or the sides or something so i i put all these they're highly reflective this is military grade stuff here it will not come off and uh, of course up front i've got leds as well and led blinkers led aux lights so there is your soft-sided or semi-rigid i guess um and um the, i managed to pick this set up really reasonable for like a hundred dollars and they're so new and they still have the little silica packs in them so I, I just took those out but um i think on on revzilla they're around 270 dollars so it's um less expensive than some of your more whiz bang stuff from gv and other you know top shelf brands but i, I think this stuff is made well it's very very you know so there's a lot of substance here. It's very, very, uh, very nice materials used. And um, anyways, for just out tooling around or even overnighter, uh, you know, with, with the uh, space I have here, here, and if I need more space, you know, I, I don't have obviously room now for a, for a pillion or, you know, passenger anymore. So, I mean, I could actually go with another dry bag across the top and uh, be out on the road for a while. So there's my uh, my one accessory that I'm um, uh, 
I'm you know just kind of demonstrating and uh, topic is uh, saddlebags uh, semi-rigid how they fit and stay away from the exhaust and also the top case for uh, you know kind of like a, a multi storage solution for the uh, for the Versys X300 so anyways uh, thanks see you on the next one